Honda motorcycles entered the famous Isle of Man World Grand Prix race for the first time in 1959 and won the team prize. Since then, Honda machines have swept on to win race after race in Grand Prix events held all over the world and have rewritten the record book. Their achievements have never been approached in the whole history of motorcycles. Today, Honda is indisputably the world's leading motorcycle manufacturer, both in output and quality. The steel industry provides the basic materials for motorcycle bodies. the rubber industry. The electrical equipment industry. the paint industry, which makes motorcycles attractive to the eye. The oil industry, responsible for supplying everything from coolants used in machining to the gasoline on which motorcycles run. The petrochemical industry, which supplies the materials for all plastic parts. And the dozens of other industries associated with the manufacture of motorcycles. All these combined have helped Honda motorcycles achieve a dominant position in the world. These are our factories. The Hamamatsu factory. Honda 125 motorcycles and power tillers are made here. The Saitama factory. Honda 250 motorcycles and scooters are made here. The Suzuka factory. This is where Honda 50 machines originate. The Technical Research Laboratory. Our concept of a research laboratory is to combine human technology and psychology as a means of transforming psychological findings into reality. Untiring research and creative ideas have raised our technical standard to the top international level. The dreams of our creative engineers are captured here on the drawing board. The engine, the life force of any motorcycle, must be light and compact yet powerful and reliable. It must also have mechanical beauty. The body, too, must be durable and beautiful to look at. Prototype products based on blueprints must be tested from every angle and in every respect. The test rooms are contained in a giant wind tunnel. A dynamometer device operated by a remote control system is installed in every compartment. Our test room layout is one of the best facilities of its type in the world. The president, Mr. Honda, mixes with young engineers, personally directing research work. In order to guarantee performance and achieve even better results, experimental prototypes undergo numerous tests in accordance with their eventual functions. The basic aim is to satisfy the requirements of consumers, and products are therefore made with the greatest care. Since a motorcycle carries valuable human life, all parts must have not only the highest mechanical precision, but must also be made from the most durable materials possible. 
Honda rigidly tests both these factors to maintain its international reputation for unfailing reliability. Here, the changing structure of materials under different temperatures is being examined microscopically. Ultraviolet ray durability tests help to produce beautifully coloured leather. The ageing of rubber used in tyres is tested by means of an ozone weather system. This room is equipped to select any sound desired. The metallic sounds of engines are tested here. In order to ensure perfect starting in even the lowest temperatures, starting tests are conducted in a low temperature experimental room, the temperature of which can be dropped to 37 degrees below zero centigrade. The wind tunnel test. It puts new models through conditions equivalent to running at 120 miles per hour. Telemeter tests it measure the efficiency of engines being run at high speed. The machine being tested carries an automatic transmitter which sends out data concerning stress, acceleration, revolutions and other factors to a receiving band. Numerous tests like these are conducted on a round-the-clock basis in order to produce genuinely good products. One of the features of Honda is its machine shop, which produces specially designed machine tools to meet the exclusive requirements of the company. Special types of machine tools are necessary to produce small, four-cycle, high-performance engines. It is impossible to make a better product by relying on universal machines or standard imported models. This shop produces machines which are the result of creative thinking by the men actually on the job. The machines are designed, made in a minimum of time and delivered to the worksite. Factory layout has an important bearing on the efficiency of production. In designing the layout of facilities, Ponder has taken special care to ensure the best possible production control, uniformity of quality, mass production and lower costs. The main factory building. This isolated building is the casting shop. The metal forming shop. The buildings have been built as separate units because in the long-term view they may eventually be expected to supply parts to processing plants for other products. The facilities of the main factory are centred around the assembly line. They compose the machining section, the heat treatment section, the plastic moulding section, the welding section, and the plating section. The painting and sub-assembling sections are accommodated on the second floor of the assembly line. All processing sections are located to ensure the flow of parts travels the shortest possible distance to the assembly line. Numerous types of conveyors are used to transport goods automatically without the use of human hands. They are carefully arranged so that the flow continues smoothly without a second's delay. The main factory building is partially two-storied. Air conditioning equipment, transformer rooms, locker rooms and all such administrative facilities are included on the second floor. 
The seven doorways are equipped with air curtains to save the trouble of opening and closing heavy iron doors. This is the casting and forging shop. crankcase of the engine, the heart of a motorcycle, wheel hubs, clutch outer, pistons, parts with complex cores too difficult to be cast by conventional means are mass produced by shell molding machines. Connecting rods are forged. Counter shafts. the machine processing section. Special purpose machines created by Honda are operated together with universal machine tools and imported machines to ensure a high rate of operation. The standard processing precision required by Honda is in micron units. Inspection jigs are fully equipped and special care is taken with regard to quality control. Since the precision standards of machine processing are measured in terms of microns, precise tests of all parts are made at every stage of manufacture by jigs and a sampling system. In addition, precision tests are constantly made on the processing and inspection jigs themselves to guarantee tolerances of well beyond micron standards. The heat treatment section. All built-in parts of the engine are hardened by gas carbonization in a high frequency system in order to improve durability. frequency hardening of the camshaft, sprockets undergo high frequency hardening,
the engine assembly line. Engine parts delivered from all sections are put into the assembly line and one engine is assembled every 12 seconds. The completed engine undergoes a careful running in operation in order to ensure it's smooth running. The adoption of the turntable system for the running in process saves both space and manpower and improves efficiency. Ah, time for lunch. the canteen on the second floor of the factory. A pleasant moment of relaxation. This young worker has spent his weekend fishing. Ah, this is a big catch. Another piece of luck. The hunter cub is an ideal companion for enjoying leisure time. This proud owner has gone into the woods for some hunting. And he's a good marksman. On his way home, he stops at the home of friends to present part of his bag and receives hearty thanks from the family. Back in the factory's bachelor dormitory, he receives a hero's welcome. He has just been to his local tech. a motorcycle playground which can be enjoyed by both adults and children.
off to work. This is the plastic moulding section. Taking advantage of the characteristic lightness and elasticity of plastic, Honda uses plastics for parts where, if metal were used, indentations could be caused by heavy use. The front cover. The front fender. The light case. This is the metal forming shop. Front forks and frames are turned out with smooth efficiency. The welding processing section. Materials delivered from the metal forming shop are welded and then delivered to the plating section or the painting section. the plating section. First, grease is removed by boiling and after going through 11 other processes, the part is plated with nickel. Three more treatment processes and it is chrome plated. But there are still five more different processes before it is completed. Parts which are not to be plated are delivered to the painting section on the second floor and are placed on a trolley conveyor which is a mile and a half long. They then undergo numerous preparatory treatments before being electrostatically painted. Parts which have gone through the painting process are delivered to the sub-assembly line upstairs and are then moved on to the general assembly line on the ground floor by lift. Now the general assembly process.
the motorcycle is completed. Different models come off different lines. This is the Honda 50, the Honda 125, the Honda 125 Sport, the Honda 250, the Honda 250 Super Sport. In addition to these items, there are more than 20 other different machines making Honda the world's biggest producer in its field. Cycles are filled with gasoline, then are driven to the test room under their own power. In addition to room tests, cycles are selected at random for detailed road tests. This super high speed test course permits an average speed of 100 miles per hour and a maximum speed of 190 miles per hour. It is among the very best test tracks in the world and has a lap distance of 3.8 miles. This elaborate setup enables Honda to make road tests that are perfection itself. machines are accepted as perfect products only after they have passed a variety of rigid tests. Then we deliver them with confidence and pride.
Honda motorcycles have traveled thousands of miles to win World Grand Prix races. Today, more and more of them are crossing oceans to every corner of the world as one of Japan's quality export products.